What's up guys, Sage here back with another video and before we get into the video, I want to remind y'all, if you like what you see and you'd like to see more videos like this and more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you won't miss a video. And remember to turn your resolution to 1080p so you can watch in the best quality possible. Also, we are doing a PlayStation 5 giveaway for our 2k subscribers and if you want to be a part of that, all you have to do is subscribe and just support. And with all that, let's get straight to the video. So guys, we're back with some more Honor of King stuff. The news has been pumping out left and right, guys. It's just a bunch of stuff to go over. So guys, I want to go over some release dates and stuff because they made some major changes to the releases of Honor of Kings for, you know, multiple different areas. So basically what they're going to be doing is they're going to be pushing the game out in different waves and it's going to work the same way, similar to what they've been doing with the other, you know, releases that they did with the Brazil server and stuff. The only difference is and this is the major difference is that you won't have to wait a year or a bunch of months just to get the game it's gonna kind of be dropping like say like probably like two months after somebody else has got the game like some other region or something so they're gonna be pushing it out a lot faster and this is the global version that is getting pushed out so probably like one area gets it and then probably like in the next two months or something after that region got the game they're gonna push the game out to another location probably even a month after it depends I don't know every release for you know every separate region so i don't know how they have their time schedule set up obviously they have a certain kind of plan for how they're going to be doing it i'm just telling you guys exactly how they're going to be doing it and what has been explained about the releases of the game so going on that next i want to talk to you guys about some other stuff for the pre-registration so the pre-registration is getting extended for many other locations and they're doing this so people can have a chance to actually sign up for the game because as you guys know the way how they were pushing out the pre-registration registration they weren't advertising it that well and then they just now started doing a lot of advertisement from when they released the first trailer and when they started posting on it so now they're really starting to push out the advertisement because they're not trying to mess up on the release and as some of you may remember i made a video saying that they want to make a big impact with their release of the game and that's what they're planning to do and my prediction before was that they're going to push it out to probably summertime if not the beginning of the year and it looks like that's what they're going to be doing so it looks like they're going to be pushing it out and by the time of summer that should be when they actually start going ahead and pushing the game out to everybody so it seems summer is the big eye-catching moment for honor of kings and it should be really really exciting obviously some of you are like yeah we gotta wait again but when it hits that summertime trust me when i say this that wait will be worth it because you will get a massive amount of players queuing the game with you and it should be a lot of fun and it's going to be so much new things for the game that you're going to be really really excited for what you see on the game so trust me it's going to be worth it and they have already big plans for the esports as they do want to advertise the esports and make it a big big thing yes everybody will have a way to access the esports because they want it to be worldwide like actually full on worldwide so they want everybody to be able to have a chance to go on and play honor of kings or go for the big leagues and do their thing so they will be having multiple different tournaments in different regions and locations so you can end up finally if you are that good at the game getting to the pro league and the official global esports tournament so yeah if you're looking forward to that they do have a lot more stuff on that on their website and you can probably go check that out and look into it if you're really trying to be a pro on honor of kings lastly i want to talk about some setting stuff so as you guys know they already have a lot of cool settings coming to the game and we already all know about the quality and the graphics updates for the game so they already have those but they're also adding more things for people coming from other games from mobile style mobile games and they have wild rift settings they have mobile legend settings and they're just adding these stuff so people that comes from those games can have fun and enjoy the game with the settings that they're used to this is actually huge and i'm really happy for this because i hated having my items on the right side of the game i'm not used to it and it's really really annoying because the way I play I play the with the style of Wild Rift so because I'm so used to the style of Wild Rift and I like that style of Wild Rift I like my stuff to be on the left side now I believe the right side is more of Mobile Legends I can't remember but I'm pretty sure it was like Mobile Legends that has the original right side with the items and I never like that I always like my items being on the left side and you can actually make more plays with it being on the left side because you can still use your controls and move and stuff while also trying to like adapt to what's 
going on. I just like the Wild Rift one better. It's just more thought out and it, it's more beneficial to you when you're in a situation you can do more quick action stuff. But that's all I had to go over, guys. If anything else comes out, I'll be sure to let you guys know. I'm really keeping an eye on what's going on because there's a lot happening for Honor of Kings right now. But it's been Sage and I'll catch you on the next one.